We open up this heat thing, the schedule, see what's going on today. Oh, there's no activities today. <laughs> Nothing's going on today. Unfortunately, stay in your rooms. Okay, our first guest is a, a talented actress. She's terrific. You've seen her on uh, 16 Candles, <laughs> Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink. I'm a big fan. Molly Ringwald, everybody. Boy. She's wonderful. Oh, you look terrific. Much younger than expected. Uh, my, I'm, I'm Molly Lewis. I'm not Molly Ringwald. I'm Molly Lewis? I'm a different, yeah, different. Never person. heard of him. That's fair. So you started off on Facts of Life. What was it like to work with the great Charlotte Ray? Uh, I, I wasn't born at that point, Yeshman. I, uh, I'm a, a, I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm a, a ukulele player, a podcaster. Sometimes you know podcasts. Uh, oh yeah, the podcast. Yeah, you like the the ask me, uh, don't tell me. Right? Sure. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ask me anything. Don't tell me anything. It's a good one. That's a good one. So you're not so. Wait a minute. I got like thirty questions from Molly Ringwald. You don't. You don't. We actually we've met before. We've, we've met before. We've done two of these Joko cruises together. We have. Yeah, I actually brought. I brought pictures. Actually, can we put those up? Yeah. We got, um, we've taken oh my selfies. Goodness. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Look at how you. I gotta say, you look great. Thank you very and I, much. And would you actually? Would you mind terribly? I, I seem to have kind of a collection going. Would you mind? We're gonna take Save a new picture? Another, please, add sure. the camera. Sure. All right. All right, bring it in here. Boy, oh boy, oh look boy, at this. Oh you get to see a live oh, photograph. Yeah. Live, oh, no one will be seated for the taking of the selfie. Uh. All, right. All right, warn me when you're gonna take it. Count down. Oh, look oh. at this, it comes out. It poops out a thing, yeah. It poops out a thing. Mm -hmm. So do I. Yeah, no. So is Anthony Michael Hall nice? Wait a minute. He is. I. I've not met him, but I assume he's nice. That was uh, the other question. You play the ukulele. I do. Okay, that's uh, Hawaiian. It is. Right? What does that mean in Hawaiian? Uh, it means a uh, tiny plastic guitar. So it's like a guitar, but it's uh, it's smaller. It actually means jumping flea in Hawaiian. I just realized I actually know the answer to that. Right. Yeah. But but it is a, like a tiny guitar. It is very much like a tiny guitar. What other tiny instruments do you play? Uh, I play kazoo. That's a tiny, what is that, what is that, like it's, that, it's a tiny flute? It is a tiny flute, yeah. Okay. It's like a tiny air horn that you power with your mouth instead of a piano. Okay, do you play, you have a, like a tiny little piano? Uh, yes, yeah, I call it a melodica. That's a melodica, what oh. else do you play that's tiny? Uh, well, small violin. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Uh, how, I know all of the strums and the frozen drinks are too short, now. well, here it is, let me sing a little sonata. Boy, <laughs> you're a delight. I didn't know you'd be so delightful, you're a delight. You. Guess my weight. Uh, Let me puff up. In imperial or metric? No, no, just in pounds. Uh, <laughs> I would say you are a svelte 140 pounds. Oh, you got it. You're good. You're good. I was trying to puff up the fooler. Let me guess yours. Let me guess yours. 250. Did I get it? Yeah. I'm Wait a minute. I'm, I'm good at this. Yeah. I used to work at a circus. Let me guess your age. 11. Close. I got it? Okay. Yeah. As long as I'm close. If you had to kill one person in the audience, who would you pick? Oh, I don't really. Well, people are volunteering. So I feel it would be unfair not to go for the volunteers first. Um, there's three volunteers. I think you just have to duke it out for who wants to die the most. I yeah. guess is that it's it's a democracy we've created here. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that takes the work out for me though. It's not fair if I don't kill you. It defeats the question, right? I choose the guy in the beard. He didn't volunteer, but he's a goner. I'll see you after the show. Peach Melba, Melba toast. What the hell is Melba? Uh, Those are two very different foods. Do you think it's like Nutella? Is it like one of those, like, just, is it a spread? Is it Nutella? No, look, look. Peach Melba, that's a sweet thing, right? It's got Melba in it. Melba toast? I don't know what the hell it is. It's a, it's a legitimate question. Does anybody know what the hell is Melba? It's named after Dame Nellie Melba, says somebody. 
There's there are two separate Melbas. Two Melbas. There's not one Melba that has cornered the market on Melba things. This town ain't big enough for two Melbas. <laughs> Finish this sentence. Guys don't make passes at girls who wear glasses. <laughs> Semicolon. Is that the brief? I, I guess that was it. Okay. Are you going to play something for us? Uh, I didn't bring my, my instrument. What? Why not? You're a musician. I actually, uh, I'm going to, right after this, I have to go lead the ukulele melee. On the who, who has a ukulele with them? Come on, we got a studio audience, none of you brought a ukulele. I know that they're in all of your state rooms. There's no excuse. <laughs> like, you can't hide from me. He's looking through his back. You got one in there? He's got a tiny flute. He's got a tiny flute. You, are, you, are you a fan of my music? I actually have a, You put out an album. A of course I did. Um, songs from the old country. Yeah, Yashmin Lokin's in Songs of the Old Country. Sure. It's, it was a big hit. It was, yeah. It's, I sold over four copies. And I, I was two of them. I gave one to my mom. Oh, good. Do you, you, you want to sing something? I would love it if you... I just feel homesick, and it makes me miss the old country. And See, let's like, sing Luke out together. Okay. Remember that? It's an old, it's an old classic. Feel free to sing along if you know it. One. Moo cow, moo cow, supplier of milk. I am intolerant of your lactose. Good. If only you brought a ukulele, that would have been nice. I went in the back of the room. Can we also sing Kai Piddle Piddle? That's one of my favorites. You know what? I want to hear you sing it. I want to hear your interpretation. Okay. We're, this is, we're, we're going to drive it home with this. Sing a little Kai Piddle Piddle for okay. me. This is a classic. This is Kai Piddle Piddle by Yashmin Blecken. Kai Piddle Piddle, Kai Piddle Piddle, Kai Piddle Piddle, A. Kai Piddle Piddle, A. Good. <laughs> Good. She's the first one to get the words right. Molly Ringwald, everybody. Molly, fantastic. Thanks for coming on. Oh, she's wonderful, isn't she? Oh, she, she left the picture. Good, I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping it. Look at this. This is a, Can you see this? Look how good that picture is. I want to copy that later in an eight, eight feet by ten feet. That was fantastic. She's wonderful, isn't she? Big hands, big hands. And I'm, I'm terrific, aren't I terrific? Big hand for me. Boy, oh boy, bigger, a bigger hand. More screaming. Good. See, see, doesn't that feel good? Feels good to let, you, to let me know how good I am. Next is a man who needs no introduction. Hello. Hello. Jimmy Roderick, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to see you, Jimmy. John. John Roderick. Oh, okay. I thought you were calling me John. How come everybody corrects me? Oh, I think it's a, I think everyone loves you. Everyone wants you to have all the uh, all the latest information. Okay. I was Jimmy. Oh, okay. Go. Oh, so it's just, you changed it. That's no. the problem. Yeah. So you're a musician. Sir. Is that your real mouth? Yes. I'm sure you hear that a lot. I'm famous for it. Yeah? Is that right? Yeah, my mouth has a kind of voluptuousness, I think, that people feel like it's okay for them to comment upon. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But I don't feel objectified. But that's good. I'm just glad you're using your real one and not like a lot of these people in Hollywood who get the new mouths. So, I understand you've known Colton for a long time. Yes. Good. How many more years do you think you're going to know him? It's a good question. Uh, sure. You know, he does abandon friends does all, he? all the time. Is that how it works? So I would live in constant fear. Sure. That I'll one day wake up and not get a phone call. Right. Boy, now I'm sad. Yeah, sorry, sorry to get heavy on everybody. Speaking it, of getting heavy, I've heard some of your music. What, in your opinion, would you say is the biggest thing that's wrong with you?
There is a certain amount of self-loathing. You've gotten right to the center, right to the heart. Of I it. cut to the heart. Yeah. These interviews are deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, if I could, if I could get the self-loathing out, I think I would be well a less interesting person. <laughs> you did a cover song the other day when you played over on the in the thing in Mexico. What what was that song? It was a song from the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Okay. Who, uh, who did that song? Well, the song on the movie was recorded by Beck, but the, it was written by an earlier pop band from the 80s. What's their name? Anyone? The Wiggles, the, the... I'm a big fan. The Warlocks. Yeah, I sort love the Wiggles, the Warlocks. Yeah. So, you, you know, why is it okay for musicians to do cover songs, but comedians can't do cover jokes? <laughs> It's a legitimate question. It's the same thing. I, I gotta tell you, I did a cover joke earlier. That thing that the Rickles bit, that's Eddie Izzard. I, I, he wrote it, and I stole it. That's plagiarism, and it's for you. Uh, it's, it's a legitimate question. I don't have a good answer. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got more questions. Give me a minute. I'm gonna read the questions. What's with the knocking? <laughs> That's one of the questions I have on here. It's louder backstage. Is it? Yeah, and they're using a power tool. Or Did you see someone back there with a hammer? Because no. then you should say, hey, stop it. Well, it made, uh, no, I didn't. It made me think uh, for the first time that between the decks, uh -huh. there must be some... Rats. Sure. Rats. <laughs> if you could use only one word to describe yourself, would that be because you had a stroke? <laughs> yes. I've never, I've never only used one word to describe anything. Sure. Uh, just ignore it. <laughs> ignore the sound. It's a, Listen it's a, to the sound of my beautiful voice. It's a dentist's office. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's what it is. I forgot they do dental cleanings every Thursday. <laughs> What what restaurants do you recommend to keep the demons away? <laughs> On board or off? Uh, anywhere. Oh, a Sorrento's Pizza in Anchorage, Alaska. Okay. <laughs> I also hear Applebee's is pretty good. My dad liked Applebee's. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Good. Good. I like him. He, yeah, he reminded he reminded me of you actually. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. That's why you're on the show. So where, where am I? You're hosting a show. Oh, I'm, right I'm, now? I'm a guest on it. Good. Let's get to the questions. Oh, I've asked them already. Here's another one for you. Tuna fish sandwich. Good? No. Why not? Uh, it has the opportunity for capers. <laughs> You can't argue with a man when he brings up capers, can you? You can't argue with a man. Mr. Roderick. Jimmy. Yes. It's been a pleasure having you. You're a good man, and I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of your music. Not your music in particular, but just the music. In general, I'm a big fan of music. Thank you. On behalf of music, uh, we appreciate it. <laughs> That's the end.